So that, Mario from Eric's Fab, this is part 36 on the mongrel build. Straight back to filling more holes. Gonna stick a patch over that. Little patch in that top corner there. And then uh, I'm gonna do some stitch welding around some of this. So I'll show you how I would go about doing that. But first we need to uh, get some cereal box action on the go. So guess the next cereal box. Go. What was your guess? I'll give you a clue, it's a classic. Oh. Alright, so where I've got these little uh, pressing marks, I'm just going to flatten them. Flatten the end of this little edge down with a dolly, and if that was a bigger pressing, you could put a little slit in it and then flatten it down and then just weld the little slit back up. Someone asked which cereal boxes do the best repairs. It's got to be Weetabix. Got to be. I've got a bead roller that would have actually rolled that profile. I could have carried that on into the floor, but. You might be able to guess that I'm pretty over the whole welding process on this project, so any parts that aren't going to be visible, I'm uh, not going to be taking too much time over. I didn't even need to weld that because uh, I'm cutting all this off and then that will have a return lip that's going to get connected straight to the bottom of the floor here so that piece will actually be gone along with that weld I just done but um, that'll do for that bit Right, so I'm going to stitch weld around some of these areas. First thing you got to do is make sure you've got every bit of seam sealer out. So I've done a video on this. I'll put a link in the description to that video. But um, best thing I found really is just to get like a wood chisel and then uh, just chisel it out and they somehow managed to get this sealer right into the joints and uh, you have to be able to get it all out to stand any chance of actually getting a weld in there. So, the more time you spend trying to get it out, the better it's going to work. And uh, when it comes to like deciding which bits you're gonna stitch well, kind of depends on what car you've got. And there'll be like there'll be like known weak spots on every car where they'll crack or the spot welds will split. So if you've got a car that's been used on track a lot or rallied or something, and uh, it's got no kind of strengthening in it. You'll usually find certain areas will have splits and cracks. The uh, spot welds will actually pull apart. 
So all you're doing is reinforcing those areas, so trying to make sure that these seams can't twist and pull apart. And, uh, you know, if you're doing a full race car, rally car, then you might want to do the whole shell to try and get as much stiffness in it as possible, but so once you've got as much of it as you can out with this, then I'll go in and hook the rest of what's left in there out with a bit of heat and uh, some little screwdrivers or I've got a little scraper thing here so you can get, get right down in the cracks. And once you've got as much out as you can get out, get in there with the wire wheel. All right, so you get the idea. Um, this is a job that is just really not a very nice job to do. The only time this is ever an easy job is if the car has been acid dipped and it dissolves all the sealer out of these joins. Because even with all the wire wheeling scraping, it's still bits in there. And some manufacturers, they seem to just splat it over the top and you, you scrape it off and you can get it all out or you can... Uh, with this MX-5, it seems to be one of those ones where it's gonna just fight you the whole time. So that's probably as far as I'm gonna go for uh, seam for stitch welding. You know, the cage comes all the way to the front here. It's all braced across here. This whole plate is braced to this cup. So, you know, that, that ain't going nowhere. Um, I'm not going to do any further down just because it's, uh, I can't be bothered to be honest. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, get my seals on. So, I've got this mark on the door here, and that's where the wing comes around, so that's where the seal needs to end. I'll go past that a little bit and then cut it back because this seal's too long anyway. That way I can um, butt up against this new piece I've put in here and then I'll be able to just trim it back and then carry on this, this lip all the way up so that the lip won't end there. I can just put a flat piece and this piece down with that lip sort of bent out at the bottom edge. Um, that lip actually could do with bending round a tiny bit more. All right, what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna cut this whole piece off here, all the way across, including that, to where my new bit starts there. Cut all this away, this has had some bodgy plate down there.
All right, I just drilled a load of holes. Now I've got these self self drilling screws, which uh, there's no way I can get in to clamp these two together. So I use these uh, self tapping screws to pull the two panels tight together when I weld it. The reason I pre drill the hole is if if you don't pre-drill it, because this is uh, this is thicker than the material behind it, it will just uh, you'll screw it in and it will just bottom out and then start spinning before it actually pulls the two tight, because it will it will grip into this better than it will the uh, material below it. All right, still probably halfway done. What I'm gonna do here is carry this lip on to um, about here. 
and then just put a plate flat across here. Where that line comes down, the uh, wing wraps around. So we need to cut this off here and uh, sort of make a little return edge, which I can weld all the way around this edge. And then we can have a flat here and we'll just have some kind of mount coming off of this um, flat piece to uh, maybe just like a bolt to bolt the wing on, maybe like a quick release pin or something. But a bit more rock sorted, super strong. I'll um, cut this off nice and level with the plasma cutter. I'll trim it off and then I'll do another row of spot welds so it's super strong. Like a golf. All right, that's it for this one. Back on it again on Monday, so uh, yeah. Cheers for watching, I'll see you on Monday.